she knows she she knows more experience than the Chinese girl, but it could be it would be the the young against the whole one. <laughs> if I can say that because she's they are both young, very young compared to me. So you've been in China. How long have you been in China? I'm living in China since first May 2009, okay. so two years, and I'm started to uh, learn Chinese. And uh, I love the Chinese people. They are very open, open, and optimistic for the future. You want to say something in Chinese to the to the audience out there? Oui, ni hao ma, wo du jia Beijing, wo chu Pascal, gentil, ni chu fa gojen. And uh, for the English-speaking audience, what was that? What to say? For the English-speaking audience, oh, what was I said, that? Oh, uh, I'm Pascal Gentil. I'm French, and I'm living in Beijing. Oh, very good, very good. Well, this one has started. Yeah. This is the second semifinal in uh, the women's fin weight category. So you you see the German. She she tries to take the lead to be in the middle. Did you punch a lot when you were when you were fighting? No, when I was fighting, no, no. But uh, and, and why didn't you punch a lot? What's that? Why didn't you punch a lot I don't when know, you were fighting? Because the taekwondo change, you know. Yes. Before we do a dub, double, triple kick, kick. Now we we try to reach the head, to push, and to punch. So the taekwondo change. Yes. In 10, 15 years, the taekwondo change a lot. It was very hard to score a punch when you were when you first were competing, correct? Yeah, we cannot. You never. Yes. We ne we cannot. Now the punch, the wow, beautiful back kick. Just missing a little bit power. Yes, with the punch we cannot uh, uh, get points. So people was calling us mancho, the mancho, you know, the the small like penguin. <laughs> because we never use no arms. The, yeah, we never use the arms, yes. only the, the legs. You think it's a good addition that the punches score now? What's that? Do you think it's a good addition that the yes, punches score yes, now? Totally, yes. it's very interesting because we can use the small distance and we can use the long distance with the take the the, the the very good with the the, the, the legs. Yes. So no, no, it's very good, and the punch is very efficient as well. Huh? We we don't use it, but when someone get clinched in the distance, you can punch him. He, he feel it really. Well, at the end of the first round, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Anybody, uh, any one of these young ladies uh, attempting a certain strategy or um, anybody getting an advantage even though it's a 0-0 zero, zero score? Yeah. Here's a little uh, replay. Yeah. A uh, little bit too high. The back kick. This one was good as well, but the Chinese tried to escape a little bit, so he didn't score. Yes. Some of the German support group there. How do you think the the the, the Chinese team? You had mentioned how how great they are. Um, you know, I noticed a couple of years ago that uh, in, in a generation ago, um, yeah. axe kick, rear leg yeah. axe kick was very popular. And then for many years it was not. And it seemed like in Beijing at World Championships and, and Olympic Games, yeah. the Chinese female team was bringing axe kick back. How, um, where do they come up with uh, these kind of ideas or, or um, strategies? Yeah, you, you know what happened in China? They're training very hard. They're training uh, uh, at least six days six day a week and uh, they've been selected about about their size first when you're chinese you don't <laughs> we don't ask you if you love the sport because of your size they told you you're going in taekwondo you're going to basketball you're going on these sports oh so after that you're training at least six hours a day during six days so the the results must come yes because the training only training 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 yes. and sometimes they're asking me why are you still competing why are you still because they couldn't imagine that i'm 38 and i'm still fighting 
because for them it's something the, the people push them to do it. Yes. Ah, they don't uh, might not have the passion or love of yeah. taekwondo that but, you. But there's have. too many too many players. When I was training with them, there's a lot of heavyweights, very tall, amazing, amazing. I got 15 guys the same high for me. Wow. How tall are you, Pascal? I'm uh, 198. I don't know. In the in US, it's the same size like Michael Jordan. Six six six, six five. I don't know. In Chinese, it's uh, Imi Joba, and in French, it's 198 centimeter. Okay. <laughs> Almost two meter. As a uh, smallly educated American, I don't have that conversion oh, with okay, me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but Michael Jordan, I think you're six six or six. six, six. Yeah. Six six. Maybe, yeah. Probably. So the German got a half point deduction or or a half point warning, two of them, two of them, uh, which brings the Chinese score two to nothing at the end of the second round. You know when you were uh, when you were competing, were you did you did you find you were the tallest heavyweight player? Uh, at the beginning, I was the tallest, but uh, at the end, I was, was the guy now who is leading the Mali, Modibo, was taller than me. The Greek guy also was uh, Nikolaidis was a little bit taller than me, yes. but uh, to be very tall it's convenient. But uh, it's not because you're taller that you you're the best. Yes, you have to be. Don't be scared. To be fear. To be to be. You have to trust yourself and you have to to be confident and you have to be the the, the power the pow very powerful to show your aggressivity. You have. To, sh to show your ability, your skills. Yes. You know, uh, uh, one thing you, you mentioned that people had watched you in the United States. One thing I think a lot of them might, a lot of them saw, and a lot of the reason that um, your tapes and 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 your your clips of your fights were so popular is your athletic ability. Yeah. Uh, we see a heavyweight doing uh, uh, not a band double, triple, quadruple kick. The last kick is to the head. Yeah, back um, kick. Yes. Yeah. How how do you? Uh, what do you attribute to, to being able to do those kind of techniques? Because because when I was uh, training, I, I'm always training with small guys, small guys. Yes. But I don't put my power. I just try to be fast as there was. So that, that, that was my point, being fast, fast, and use the same techniques that they use, like double back kick, kicking at the head. And people was very amazed when they saw my fight because they said oh you do the show but I, in fact i didn't do the show i do what i'm what i'm love to do what i'm um i'll say what i what i like yes yes what i'm familiar with yes okay the chinese leading only one minute of the gold uh, medal Ooh, good try for the Chinese. And the winner of this match is going to go on to uh, meet Su Wee Kim uh, from Korea oh, in yeah. the final. Yeah, yes. Of course. So there was a half point warning given to the, the Chinese player, which gave Manz a, a point, correct? Yeah, exactly. Because she fell down. Now with the new rules, one one kick at oh. the head can make the difference. So the Chinese did it. Chinese made a a, a, a tough job even tougher with yeah. that head kick. Yeah, yeah. This was a great strategy. The Chinese could have sat on that lead. And just let Mans try to try to get the point, but she attacked. And the winner is uh, Zhao Yi Li from China. From China, she'll move on to meet Su Wee Kim from Korea in the women's finweight final. What do you what do you think of the players today? Uh, Pascal, as a as a as a great athletic 
um, Taekwondo player. What do you think of the players today? Now the players uh, first are very young, very, very young. We can see uh, players from 16 now. And they are very skinny, very tall now. Because the first thing, now if you want to win, you have to reach the head, you have to kick the head. So the morphology of the, the athletes change a lot. Oh, okay. So did you have any, uh, uh, when you were, when you were uh, training to compete, did you have any dietary restrictions or any dietary standards that you followed? Not really. When I was fighting, I was I'm trying to eat different.